this outboard motor is going to change boating forever. I honestly believe that. I'm not going to make you wait and bait you for half the video to reveal what the motor is. I'm going to tell you right now. It's the Newport NT300 three horsepower equivalent electric outboard motor. I know some of you right now are going, oh, please, no, 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 stop. But hear me out, okay? Because there's a couple of really good reasons why I think that motor is going to change boating forever. And I'll get into those, okay? I have my notes right here. I've made a few videos talking about electric outboards, and sometimes I'm talking positively about them, and sometimes I'm talking a bit negatively about them. And the folks at Newport reached out to me and said, would you like one of these? They gave me this for free with the battery and everything else that I need. They just gave it to me. Yes, there's gonna be a disclaimer up here in the top if you haven't already seen it. Something about this video includes paid product endorsement, whatever. YouTube requires that to be said if there's any product in the video that I might have received for free. Here's the neat thing. They asked for nothing in return, nothing. They didn't ask me to make a video. They didn't ask me to talk positively about their product. They didn't make me sign anything. They literally said, we just want to put this in the hands of people and get their opinions on it. And that's it. I know, I'm a lucky guy. If you are into something like this, how awesome is that? A company giving me something with no strings attached? I think that's pretty cool. I've been playing with this now for a few days. And there's some things I like about it and things I don't like about it. But for right now, I just wanted to talk about why I think this particular motor is going to change boating forever. It's like a more powerful trolling motor. And what I mean by that is a trolling motor, which we're all very familiar with, is the motor and the battery. And we can choose whatever batteries we want to put on our boat for our trolling motor. We can pick the brand, the size, the capacity, how we connect them. All of those factors are things that are up to us. And the trolling motor is just a trolling motor. That's a concept we're comfortable with. It's the motor that we've been asking for for years. I've seen comments every time when people make videos about upgrading trolling motors and how much electric outboards cost and all those kinds of things saying, why can't we just step up the trolling motor technology a little bit and make a slightly better trolling motor? That's what this is. This is the first electric outboard in its class that is set up like that because Newport also makes and sells trolling motors. If you already have a trolling motor system on your boat that's 36 volts, you can just plug this into that. And that's what I think is a really cool thing here because that makes this future scalable, very easily future scalable. Your Torquedo, E-Propulsion, and Mercury Avator electric outboards they all use a proprietary battery. The Mercury Avator has one that looks like we use with our electric drills that plugs in from the top. The E-Propulsion one is molded into the top of the motor. That's, and you plug that in and that sort of finishes off the design. Torquedo works the same way. This is the only one that uses a block battery that you can place anywhere in your boat. And this one is cheaper with the battery than the competition, and it's a bigger battery. Let's talk about the competition. The oldest and first competitor is Torquedo. They make a three horsepower outboard called the Travel 1103C. That one sells online for $2,948. So, you know, almost $3,000. It weighs 17.3 kilograms, which is 38 pounds, and it comes with a 915 watt hour battery. Now, I'm going to talk about watt-hour batteries here, and I do not have any data whether or not all of these different outboards use electricity in the same way. So I don't know whether they all consume it in the same way. But without being able to have four brand new ones of these fully charged next to each other, testing them on the same craft at the same time, there's not a lot of other data we can really go on in terms of range, I guess, really, or battery life, because 
That's one of the things that we all talk about. Range anxiety, battery life. What do we do when the batteries go dead? And I get that. But let's talk about these comparing it to the other similar products. The next competitor is the E-Propulsion Spirit Plus. That's also a three horsepower equivalent outboard. That one comes in at $25.99. It weighs 19.3 kilograms, which is 42 and a half pounds, but it comes with a 1,276 watt hour battery. So the E-Propulsion Spirit Plus is less, weighs a little bit more, just a little bit, and has a much larger battery, which I have always thought made it a better product than the Torquedo. However, the problem with both of those is that they use a proprietary battery. So they have their own special e-propulsion branded molded battery that fits onto the outboard. I love the simplicity of that and the portability of that. The Newport one uses any kind of battery that you happen to have or want. So it requires 36 volts. However, you could go buy three 12 volt lead acid batteries and put them in the front of your boat. Let's talk about the other new competitor that came out this year, the same time this one came out, which is the Mercury Avator 7.5. Now, for those of you who don't know, 7.5 is like watts of power or whatever. It is essentially a three horsepower outboard. That currently sells for $3,500 priced way above even the Torquedo. It weighs 27.2 kilograms, which is about 60 pounds, and it comes with a 1,000 watt hour battery. So, decent sized battery, not as big as the E-Propulsion, but it weighs a lot more, and it costs a lot more. Now let's talk about our Newport NT300, and this is why I think it's so special. So, once again, three horsepower equivalents. So these are all apples to apples comparisons. The motor is $11.99. You can buy the battery separately. And they gave me the biggest battery that they carry, which is a 40 amp hour battery. The big battery is $1,149. So the total price is $2,348. So with the largest battery, it's still cheaper than the other three competitors. Now it comes in at 23.9 kilograms, which is 52.7 pounds. It almost weighs as much as the Mercury Avator, but it has the biggest battery. The battery that I got is 1,440 watt hours, almost 200 watt hours more than the E-Propulsion. So its closest competitor is the E-Propulsion. However, that's $2,600 and this is 2348. But the thing about the Newport one is that with the battery being completely external and separate, you have many more options. I can buy other kinds of batteries, other brands, other manufacturers, other battery types, and it makes it much more future compatible because all I gotta do is screw these terminals onto a new battery. So if somebody comes out with this amazing 36 volt pocket size battery, I just drop that in my boat, keep running that motor. Some of these other ones can run off another external battery, but they're designed with their proprietary battery. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this. Do you think this thing is everything I say it is? Do you think this stuff's a terrible idea? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Here's another video YouTube's recommending for you. This one right here. Check it out. It's another one of mine.